Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Athens Christian Reformed Church this morning. It is good to see you all here this morning and uh, good to welcome you who are watching online a week from now. Uh, it is, as always, good to worship the Lord together in spirit and in truth, no matter where we are. It is a comfort and a joy to me and hopefully to you as well to know that uh, not only are we together here in this place, but we are also in a spiritual way together with brothers and sisters all over the world who are worshiping God today. But not only are we together with brothers and sisters all over the world who are worshiping God today, we are also together with brothers and sisters throughout time who worship God, the great cloud of witnesses who is here with us in spirit and with God. This morning, I have a couple of announcements for you. This, uh, there is, first of all, I uh, wanted to let you know about some things upcoming. One is that, uh, Lord willing, we will be doing a commissioning Sunday next Sunday. Um, just make, just hold on a second here. Um, yeah, next Sunday we'll be doing a commissioning Sunday, getting everybody uh, all set to go on and do ministry in, in, in the various ways that we do. And so those of you who are leading various ministries, it would be great if you could be here. Uh, but if not, rest assured, God commissions you anyways, and that is good. We also, the Sunday after that, will be, Lord willing, Affirmation Sunday. So for those of you who maybe uh, aren't aware or don't remember, uh, the process for the, uh, the choosing of office bearers in this church is such that we have a vote to affirm the nominees, and that is because there is a requirement according to Canadian law for nonprofits and charitable organizations that the membership vote for those who will be, uh, as it were, the board of trustees or the board of the corporation, and that includes our elders and deacons. And so we vote to affirm those who are candidates or nominees, and then we draw names, uh, and we do so prayerfully, trusting that God will ultimately choose the specific people who will serve in those offices. So um, not this Sunday, but the Sunday after will be the Affirmation Sunday. And then the sol Sunday following that, Lord willing, we will be drawing names prayerfully and celebratorily uh, during the worship service. So uh, those are the things that I need to make people aware of right at this moment. So I would invite you to stand and receive God's greeting. Welcome, brothers and sisters. In the name of our God, who comforts us and strengthens us, who watches over us so that we do not stumble. Welcome, in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, brothers, please remain, brothers and sisters, please remain standing as we uh, worship together with He Leadeth Me. <laughs> 